In cases where the gratification involves a specific sum of money or can be assigned a value, the court can also order the offender to pay a fine equal to the amount of the gratification received. This means that the fine can actually surpass the usual $100,000 limit. Corruption and bribery are serious offences that can undermine society's trust, fairness and integrity. Singapore's Prevention of Corruption Act or PCA lays down stringent laws and the legal framework for dealing with bribery. The Act dictates the penalties for individuals found guilty of bribery, a fine not exceeding $100,000 or imprisonment of up to five years can be imposed for corruption. The maximum imprisonment term increases to seven years if the corruption involves the public service or targets a member of parliament or public servant. In cases where the gratification involves a specific sum of money or can be assigned a value, the court can also order the offender to pay a fine equal to the amount of the gratification received. This means that the fine can actually surpass the usual $100,000 limit. Some offenders in cases have been known to pay fines that exceed $1 million. The PCA serves as Singapore's primary anti-corruption legislation. It empowers the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau, or CPIB, and defines corruption-related offences and their corresponding punishments. Under the PCA, an individual commits an offence if they corruptly solicit, receive, or agree to receive gratification for themselves or others, corruptly give, promise or offer gratification to any person or inducing or rewarding specific actions. The PCA also covers scenarios where agents corruptly accept gratification regarding their principal's affairs, seek to corruptly influence an agent or deceive a principal with falsified documents. The PCA establishes a presumption of corruption when gratification is given or received by a person employed by the Singapore government or a public body. The accused bears the burden of proof to rebut this presumption. Singapore's PCA has an extraterritorial effect, meaning that Singapore citizens engaging in corruption or bribery overseas can also be prosecuted under the Act. Non-citizens can also be investigated and prosecuted in Singapore if they aid in committing a corruption offence related to Singapore. Individuals found guilty of a bribery offence can face penalties that include a fine not exceeding $100,000, an imprisonment term of up to five years, or both. Suppose the bribery relates to a government contract or proposal. Now, in that case, the punishment can escalate to a fine of $100,000, imprisonment and not exceeding seven years, or both. Ultimately, Singapore's strict laws against corruption and bribery reinforce the importance of transparency, trust and ethical conduct in public and private spheres and clearly convey that corruption will not be tolerated. So, now you know. If you found this helpful and would like to hear more, check out our other content and subscribe to our channel now.